Over the past few months, ChatGPT and AI in general have taken the world by storm. It is crazy to see how many people are using this type of technology to pretty much do almost anything in their daily life or even sometimes for work. We're not going to get into the ethics of AI and all of that stuff, but I do think it's important to know that it's going to get more advanced as time goes on and you can use it for a variety of things. So today I thought it would be very interesting <laughs> to see if ChatGPT could help me learn Polish. I am currently in Polish classes right now and I am going to be studying to take the B1 language exam at the very end of the year or even in early next year, just depending, fingers crossed on how everything goes. So I asked ChatGPT of uh, if they could just give me a list of questions of what a mid-range Polish test could look like. So uh, I just typed it in and it generated about 15 questions. So we're going to take the test together today and see how I do. We're going to have the answers here on screen so you guys can kind of play along with me. But if you guys are Polish speakers, maybe this is going to be super easy for you. Maybe it'll be super hard. I mean, I don't really know. Hopefully it's not super difficult if your native language is Polish. But even if you don't speak Polish, um, It'll kind of just give you an insight of how the language is, how difficult it is, et cetera. Um, if you are interested in learning Polish, I would not recommend learning it from ChatGPT because it's just going to give you like a list of questions. Of course, like you need to go to a language school, get tutors, et cetera. But um, I think it's going to be interesting to just kind of test my knowledge and just really see if AI is really up to snuff when it comes to giving you uh, some good questions for like an actual learning. Make sure you stay tuned till the end of the video to see what my thoughts are of how ChatGPT compares to what I've been studying to pass the B1 language exam. The answer may surprise you. So let's go ahead and uh, see what ChatGPT has to say about what some mid-range level Polish questions are. But before we get started, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you like type, these types of videos about Poland or um, just learning more about the culture over here in this beautiful country. My name is Sarah and I've lived here for the last five years. So thank you guys for uh, being here with me today as I struggle through some Polish stuff. So let's go ahead and see if I can pass the chat GPT Polish test. So before we even get started here with the chat GPT stuff, I just wanted to briefly cover what the B1 exam for Polish essentially covers. So we have listening, reading, grammar, writing, speaking with five sections. You have 190 minutes for a total exam time. You have breaks. It's expensive, almost 200 US dollars. You need at least a 50% for every section. So essentially you could pass listening, reading, grammar with a 90%. If you got a 42 on writing, you would fail the entire thing, even if you got better scores on the other sections. So you need at least 50%. Um, and it's pretty intensive. So it it's quite a long exam. It's expensive. Obviously, you take a lot of studying. You need to really understand how the test works. And it really is just such a process. So um, now that we've kind of just understood like what is expected of B1, um, let's see what ChatGPT provides. Okay, so I have my computer right here for the questions. I do not have the answers here in front of me, but I do have the questions here on my computer. So we're going to kind of go through these one by one. Again, I will have the question as well as the correct answer here on the screen so you guys can play along with me. So, um, okay, this first question is to translate the following sentence into Polish. She speaks fluent Polish, English, and French. So uh, she speaks on a movie fluent. I don't know the word for fluent, uh, but on a movie po polsku, po anglesku, i po francesku. So I don't know the word for fluent, but that is she speaks Polish, English, and French. Second question is this one. Fill in the blank with the appropriate word. Czy mógłbyś polezić mi blank książkę? Which essentially means, uh, could you recommend a book to me? So I think this word that they're looking for would be dobra. Yeah, czy mógłbyś polezić mi Dobra Kshonske, but because Kshonske is in a different grammar form, we'd have to conjugate Dobra, so I think it's Dobrom Kshonske. 
see what uh, the answer is. But you guys will already know what the answer is. We'll put it on screen. Identify the correct plural form of the noun miasto, which is city, because it is plural. Uh, they give us four answers. Miasta, miast, miasto, miastem. The answer is B, miasta. Next question. Rearrange the following words to form a grammatically correct sentence. Kupich, kshiawabim, jishai, kfiati. Kupich is to buy kshiawabim, uh, jishai, today, kfiati, flower. Kshiawabim uh, is like a conjugation form of to want. So kshiawabim, kupich, kfiati, jishai. We want to buy flowers today. Uh, next question is to conjugate the verb yesht, which is to eat, in the past tense for the pronoun ona, which is she. So she ate uh, yadwa, ona yadwa. Uh, the next question is conjugate the verb pisach to write in the future tense for the pronoun te, which is you, benjich pisach. Fill in the blank with the correct preposition. Ide, blank, domu. And you have the three choices, do, ve, or dos, rude. The answer is do, ide, do, domu. Means I go home or I go to home. Next one, identify the correct form of the verb miech, which is to have in the past tense for the pronoun me, which is we. The answer is miawem, mieleshmi, miawesh, miawash. And the answer is b, mieleshmi. Next one, conjugate the verb yehach, which is to go or to ride in the past tense for the pronoun ona, which it would be ona yehawa. Translate the following question into Polish. What are your thoughts on the current political situation? Jakie są twoje liście na termat sytuacje polityczne? Choose the correct form of the adjective with the sentence ten dom jest duży, duże, duża. Uh, it would be ten dom jest duży. The next question is translate the sentence into Polish. I will meet you at the restaurant at seven o'clock. I will meet you bende spotikać na restauracji od sudme. Yeah. Okay, and those were just the questions that ChatGPT uh, put out. I'm actually kind of surprised they weren't nearly as challenging as I thought they were going to be. I've been studying a lot of like specific grammar tenses and um, like B1 level things where you have to like identify a whole bunch of different grammar tenses within a sentence and all of that. Um, so it's like quite complicated. The thing I still really struggle with is like speaking a sentence. I can understand things a lot. I can read pretty okay, but to speak, it's like that last final hurdle I need to get over. So um, I just need to force myself to do it more. But uh, yeah, I'm actually kind of surprised that this is saying it's mid-level. To me, this seemed like pretty basic um, by doing like, what is the past tense of this word or the present tense or choosing an adjective to go in a sentence. Um, to me, that seems fairly simple, but they're, chat GPT considered this to be mid-level. So uh, I honestly thought that like all of the other mid-level stuff for like the B1 practice, practice exam is significantly harder than this. An example of the B1 practice exam when it comes to reading. Uh, and as you can see, it's significantly more complicated. You have a whole bunch of text here that you need to read, understand. You have to answer questions about what the text above is saying and who said what, what this person is doing. Um, you just like, you have a lot of text here that you just need to read and comprehend. You have writing, you have speaking, you have conversational topics, uh, describing. So there are a lot of aspects of the exam that are really hard. And I, I really did feel that the chat GPT version of a Polish test is not at all similar to some examples that I've seen of how the B1 Polish exam is. And B1 Polish is intermediate level. And I really did feel that the exam that I, you know, the questions that I took with chat GPT was very incredibly basic. Let me know what you guys think of if this is like too hard, like too easy, because uh, it kind of seemed like it was 
actually a little bit easier than I thought it was going to be. So maybe I just need to ask them like what the hardest questions are in Polish. And then that would probably slay me. Uh, anyways, <laughs> I hope you guys uh, enjoy this video. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos. Give this video a like so I know that you enjoy this kind of content. And I will see you next time.